to you, man. All right. Hey, what's up, man? What's up to the fans in Ghana? Yeah, well, you know, I'm representing Ghana. And... How was training? Oh, it was great. Okay. Another day in a bank. Yeah, I hear that, man. Thank you. This is a uh, real Ghana boxing here with uh, Helen Joseph. Uh, you know, you, you're representing the continent as, at this point. Like, West Africa, I'm the West only Africa. girl. Yeah, I know it. And I represent West Africa. I represent Nigeria. I represent Ghana. Anything West Africa, I'm the princess of Africa. Yeah, uh, you know, I can tell because you know, uh, you 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 have a nice career. I, I've a very accomplished fighter here. I know you fought. Uh, in Ghana, at, at about what uh, nine years ago, you were in, you fight fought in Ghana. Uh, how how do you like that experience? Ghana is my second country. Yeah, I was born in Nigeria, but in this career of mine, Ghana make me where I am today. Mm -hmm. The thing is that on the line, I got injury, serious injury, because I was playing rugby two thousand nine. First of all, I got um motor accident. Uh, motorbike accident after my before um before we went to what they call 2009 um kaduna national festival okay i have injury seriously that i spent like one good years without walking around you know i can't walk i was indoor Try to feel the leg. Everybody say, yeah, she can't walk anymore. But God saved me. Mm. I walk and the, I start doing my game too. I start winning. So after um, at Kaduna 2008 or 2009, so I got another, I was in national camp too, preparing for competition in Kung Fu. I got another injury, the same leg that stopped me not to work again for so many months again. And then we was preparing for Garden City, River State, 2011, I think so. So because that was my last tournament in amateur, but that was the, the worst competition I have ever been in my life, you know? Why? Because Amazing. I signed, I signed to win two gold in that competition. Uh -huh. Because I don't want to go to amateur, I don't want to go to national festival again. So I wanted to get the two gold and please my state, so I can walk away and face my career in professional boxing. You know. So when we are in camp preparing, uh, my coach teach us something in kung fu because kung fu is very tough. He say rough more, it's rough more than kickboxing. So, so I was trying to practice what he taught us. Then I have a knee fracture immediately. So I twist my knee. Uh -oh. So it's like when I stand, I will fall through my back. So I can't stand anymore. So whenever I stand up, I must fall through the back. So the leg gets swelled up. Okay. I couldn't work, but I don't know what to do. And uh, my game starts first because my game is number one and I'm in a small class that we will first start the fight. So now I ask for POP. They fix me POP to straight the leg and to make it, uh, if I can manage it. But after POP one week, the team was really paining me and they take it off. I can't be able to use it like before. So I just go straight and make my weight. But I know I am not really balanced with the leg. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to get it too good anymore. I even I'm seeking to get one first. So now when we get to River State, I'm working with working stick. Oh. I can't work because the leg gets swell up very much. I can't. But I believe that I have already asked God that I need that too good. And I know my God never disappoint me, but I don't know how to get it. So my f the first game I did was kickboxing. Is it is it kickboxing? No, Kung Fu was the first game I went I, I did in that tournament. It was very rough. So now I can't work, but my team always escorts me to the ring where I fight. 
Mm. After fighting, they will back me and take me back to dressing room and fix ice block, make ice block on my knee because in kung fu you can fight two two fight a day or three a day. So I was fighting, but I'm crying because I'm feeling terrible pain. I can't even stand straight, you know. But I have no choice because that is only where I can get my daily bread. That is only where I can get help. You understand? I can pay my bills. If I don't fight, how can I pay my bills, take care of myself? So I have to do that. Mm. So after God helped me, I knock out all my opponents. I get to final. I, I, I went to final with the hosting state. It was tough. Uh, because they believe that they are hosting and they host to win, but God is with me and what, God. What, what country is it? Ah, uh, we see Nigeria National Festival. Oh, it's the top game. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Nigeria, it's like thirty-six states. You must fight like ten fights before you get to the goal. It's very tough, more than all African games. That mm. is where they pick the best to all African games. Okay, so well, so you you beat all your opponents on one leg. Yeah, <laughs> okay. it was yeah, it was really tough. Okay, so I can't stand well, but I can manage. But I believe that I I never believe that after the fight I can work again. But I say I must get what I want to get. You understand? So mm -hmm. I fought with only one leg, and God give me the gold for go, for the kung fu tournament. So now I'm the last hope. Keep bossing thing have. To win another gold. If I'm not in that team, they can't get gold. I don't know what to do because after Kung Fu fight, I can't work anymore. I'm only in my room. I can't even go for lunch or anything. I can't get food. Or people go out there to get me something to eat because my leg gets swell up more. Wow. So and we have only one week to to go into the kickboxing tournament, and I have already tell told my people that I can't be able to fight that kid bossing because I can't work anymore. But one night, I was like two days to the competition. I was just trying to come out and I saw one disabled guy. The disabled guy asked me, Helene, how am I doing? I said, I'm fine. He said, how about your leg? I said, brother, I don't know what you wrong with my leg. I don't even know what to do. I'm giving up in kid bossing fight now. He said, have I take some kind of pain relief that sometimes something will be doing to happening to us will be expecting to get a kind of uh, a treatment and a little thing can help us out. He now asked me, have I go to the doctor to tell the doctor to cool down and check me and know what to do with my leg? I said, no, he said I should try and go and meet the doctor this night. So I said, okay. So I just go straight to our team doctor. I say, doctor, please, can you help me and check if you have anything you can do, if I can be able to manage it for this last fight. So the doctor asked me to sit down and he checked me. He was like taking off some pores right from the knee that swelled up. He was using string to take it off like this. He was drawing all the bad blood out of my knee, you know. So, knee, yeah. Uh. yeah, so after he did that and he gave me injection direct to the knee, so and give me some tablet to take and say I should go home and check how I feel. I should come back in the morning and report to him. I said, Okay, so now I went to my apartment and uh, I couldn't sleep because the next day is official weighing. And my mind told me I need to get the last goal because I promised my team to God and I never promised and fair before. So I was like walking around my house like a pregnant woman that want to give birth because I'm confused. How can I give up so easy like that because of the injury? I don't believe in injury and I don't believe that injury can stop me not to get what I want to get. So I was like talking to myself in my room because I was in the room all by myself. I have no roommates. So I was talking to me myself, telling God, 
God, you never promised and fail me. And uh, this I have already said because I believe that you always fight for me. And this is the time to show the world that you always fight for me because I need this last good. I was just talking to God like God was there with me. He understand because I was so confused. So mm. at a time, I feel like my, my knee relieved me a little. So now I can like bend the leg because before I can bend it, but now I can bend it and stretch it. I say, man, it's like I feel better than before. It's like I have to use this leg. So before I can jump rope, I pick up my jumping rope and I start jumping rope like half hour that night. I was fine. That means that because the next morning is official way and everybody is happy because I've given up that, oh, I'm not going to fight anymore. So like my enemies, they are happy. Oh, she's not going to get that too good. So mm -hmm. now I just like jump rope in the midnight. After jumping rope, I take my shower and I knock door, my coach's door and they open. I told them I want to test my weight. So they say, ah, Helene, how did you change your mind? I said, no, it's, I have to do this because I suffer for this team and I prepare well for this competition. Nothing can make me give up just like that. I said, let me check my weight first. So I check my weight and uh, I weigh exactly what I'm supposed to weigh in the competition. I said, okay, I'm good to go. So I went home. I went, to, I went back to my room. I slept. I didn't even sleep because it's like, oh, I can't sleep. I was thinking what I'm going to do in the ring. How am I going to get that last good? So in the morning, the ring bell, all of us now walked down to our bus and we went to the venue direct. So I saw all my, all my opponents, they line up for a medical uh, checkup. So I just went in front of them one by one. I told them, hey, girls, don't jubilate. You're not going to win Helen Joseph. Don't even say you have, you have advantage to win this fight. I am the gold medalist here. Nobody will take that gold away from me. I will never give up that gold. So don't even tell your coach you have advantage to win that gold because I have one leg. So I was talking to each one of them one by one. Let wow. them know that I am right here. No matter what, they can't take that gold. Wow. So it's like, wow. I said, no, you people know right now I have one leg. So mm. don't, don't just do leg because that one leg can never let you win. Okay, so so let me let me go let me re, let me uh, re, uh do an overview. So you you already won a kung fu go medal on one leg, and then you you got your knee drain, and that that night, and the, you you got your knee knee drain that night. You didn't sleep, you said, right? You didn't sleep. Yeah. You didn't sleep, and then now you're going into competition for uh kickboxing. Kickboxing. And, and wow, and I, I see why they call you the Iron Lady. I I, I really I can understand. That is what I told you. That wow. fight was a terrible fight. The, ter the, the worst tournament ever that I was fighting, sharing tears at the same time and the winning. Hmm. So wow. I went to the, I told all of them one by one. I said, no, no, no. I am here. You are not going to win gold. All of you go back home. Bronze and sliver. That gold belongs to me. I don't share my gold with anybody, even if I'm dying. Mm -hmm. So I told them, so they was like, hey, this girl, she's really crazy. I said, I don't send anybody. <laughs> so when we start, now I know that I don't have time to waste because I don't, because before if I'm fighting, everybody like enjoying my fight because I fight, I show my skills. Now I don't need to show skills. I just need to fight like a street fighter and win my gold. Mm. so it's like when i get to the ring i know they come after my leg i set my leg for them and i use my my boxing technique and anybody that i hit more shall go down that is how i knock everybody down first round first round till i get to final mm. so i enter final with a uh, hosting stage too margaret that girl she always want to win me so she always believed that she is strong and she always give me tough time so now she told her she has all the advantage to win. I told her, no, no, no. I will beat you like I never beat you before in this tournament. Instead uh, of you to win this gold, let novice win this gold. You can never win. You understand? So yeah. I told her, yes, that is it. So now I know that she came from whole state. All the referee is with her. 
the judges are with her because they are the one hosting. So now I have to beat her, beat the referee, and beat the judges before I can win that goal. You understand? So mm. I cannot even try to share points with her because if I do, they will give her. So I need to beat her the way they will never, never share the point with me and her. You mm. understand? Mm. So I beat her from rope to rope until from first round to the third round. And the judges gave me the fight direct. Nobody played games with me. That wow. is how I got the two gold in 2011 National Sports Festival, Garden City, River State. Wow. 